President Biden has just released a statement on the shooting at a mall in Texas yesterday. He says in part, quote, Yesterday, an assault, an assailant in tactical gear, armed with an AR-15 style assault weapon, gunned down innocent people in a shopping mall, and not for the first time. Such an attack is too shocking to be so familiar, and yet American communities have suffered roughly 200 mass shootings already this year, according to leading counts. More than 14,000 of our fellow citizens have lost their lives, credible estimates show. The leading cause of death for, an Amer for American kids is gun violence. Those details about the AR-15 rifle and tactical gear are new pieces of information we did not know prior to this statement. Joining me now are two native Texans, Julian Castro, a former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President Obama. He's also the former mayor of San Antonio and an MSNBC political analyst. And Roland Martin, host and managing editor of the Roland Martin Unfiltered Digital Show and the CEO of New Vision Media. Mr. Secretary, I want to start with you. Um, to get your reaction to learning this new information uh, just now from the President of the United States. Uh, first off, w we haven't had that reported. The President just did. Um, so what are we to make from this information and the level of detail that we have so far? It's not surprising uh, that uh, this was an AR-15 style weapon that was used. Uh, Michael, we've seen this over and over and over again in so many of these mass shootings. Uh, it's almost second nature. People assume it. Uh, we have it confirmed now. Uh, it's not surprising that this is the type of weapon that was used to gun down so many people so quickly. Uh, it's notable here that you fortunately had a police officer that was on site for another call that was able to to uh, take out the shooter pretty quickly, it seems like, although we haven't gotten all the details. But even in that scenario, because of the way these weapons are able to fire so quickly, we still have as many casualties and people wounded as we do. Uh, the other thing is, uh, as President Biden notes, we've seen this again. Uh, this happens everywhere in our country all the time, and especially in states like my home state and Roland's home state of Texas, um, where Republicans have created a climate of problem solving by bullet uh, and the availability of guns uh, to anyone, anywhere, anytime. They've made it easier and easier and easier, and they refuse to do anything about actually solving the problem. They said they were gonna do something, about uh, four years ago after the massacre in El Paso at that Walmart. Uh, they put together a sort of show commission that didn't recommend anything significant, and then the legislature didn't do anything about it. Same thing this legislative session. There is, uh, there's legislation on the table to actually require that somebody be at least 21 years old to purchase one of these assault style weapons and it is languishing right now in committee republicans won't do anything about it roland uh, you would think after a mass shooting like this lawmakers in the state where it happened would take stock and work on policy changes uh, to the secretary's point to prevent it from happening again. But that's not what happens in Texas. Wh no. What do we do here? How do we break this, this cycle? I mean, every, I mean, it's not like every two weeks, my friend. It's like every other day we're having these stories now about mass shootings. The only way to change any of this is to completely wipe out the Republican Party. Somebody has to say it. Greg Abbott, the governor, is sick and demented. He has literally done nothing. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leadership, uh, Republican leadership in the state, they literally have done nothing. They have ignored the Uvalde parents. I was at the Texas Capitol uh, a few months ago uh, where they were rallying there. They are not going to do anything. But here's also what has to happen. People of conscience are going to have to stop sitting at home and saying, oh, we want something done. In the last election, 75% of all Texans under the age of 30 did not vote. And so the only way to change this is to move these people out of office. There is no other way. And so, yes, we've seen what they've done when it comes to voter suppression. They want to remove voting locations from college campuses. But the way to counter this, you have to take these people out of office office and put in people who are going to pass the laws. That is the only way, because it is clear 
They are not going to change the laws because they are in, so in love with guns and so in love with the Second Amendment crowd, they do not care to see bodies piled up on the sidewalk. Change comes when you change the leadership.